It's time to take a deep dive into the sports world of our happy little rectangle. And now, from the Kitchen Table Studio in West Central Greene County, Indiana, it's Nathan's Low Budget Sports Show. Hi guys, welcome to the Low Budget Sports Show. I'm your host Nathan Pace. Uh, I just came back from a Duggar Union boys basketball game over there at Duggar. They played OPH tonight. Uh, Carter Hall had a great game. Let's see how that game went tonight. <laughs> just seven players in this game due to illness and some disciplinary issues in the team so but they hopefully they got that taken care of and this game will help them out going forward Carter Hall had 26 points that's a career high for the senior tonight a uh, great game by him a uh, great game by the seven players there Duggar they were undersized against OPH but they hung in there and they forced overtime it was a good game tonight uh, it was a fun night there at Duggar and let's go over to Shackamack girls basketball where they just had an achievement a big time regular season achievement 
They beat North Davies last week and they added two more wins. Let's take a look back at their North Davies game a week ago. <laughs> Congratulations on being North Davies. How did you guys get after a hot start out there today? We were fast. Yeah, we were fast. We played hard. Um, we had a lot of good open runs. We knew we were the better team. Oh, yeah. Uh, Aubrey, you're just a freshman. <laughs> How you like dialed in from three-pointers so easily there? Uh, I don't know. Good assist. Yeah, I mean, well, well what, what made you like uh, get, become a varsity? How did you become a varsity player so young? Just that good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they like put in the work over the summer. Oh yeah, she works out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, like uh, we guys were up seventeen to nothing. What was your thoughts at that point? Oh, we're gonna win. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> you only got one more home game left. So how do you guys feel as the season's winding down? Stop, stop. Anything else that you guys want to do before between now and sectionals? Um, winning season, for sure. Yeah, have a winning season. What would it mean to have that winning season here? A lot, because it'll be the first, like, decades. <laughs> Literally decades. <laughs> yeah, we put in the work and we got to be more focused. It'll be even better to win sectionals. Yeah. There you go. It's a fun team there at Shackamack. They beat North Davies that night. They later beat uh, uh, North Vermillion, and then they beat Lighthouse Christian Academy. They are now 12-7. and seven. It's their first winning season in nine years at, at Duggar as they just have three uh, at Shackamack as they just have three games left in the regular season and maybe one, one or two sh uh, sectional games. So they're guaranteed to have a winning season there at Shackamack. It doesn't happen a whole lot, but this team, they, they are fighters. They shoot the ball. They are never afraid to shoot, and they also get at you at defense, on defense. So that's a fun team at Shackamack. Uh, we also have senior nights are starting to happen. We had our first senior night at WRV last night for Kylie Palmer. <laughs> an emotional moment when a senior checks out there on senior night, especially after a win. After a win. Uh, they beat Duggar going away last night, I think 65-29. Uh, WRV, they don't have a, a big lot roster, but they definitely can be a dark horse candidate in sectional 57 if things go their way. Uh, so that leads us to our stat of the week. Nathan, somewhat interesting stat of the week. Our stat of the week is Shackamack Girls Basketball. I told you it's their first winning season in nine years. It's also their first winning. It's also their third winning season since the turn of the century. So here we are, 23 years into this, into the 21st century, and this is only the third time they've had a winning record to in a year. Uh, thank you again to, for watching, and staying up late for our late night show here, and also thank you to our sponsors, Team Ortho from the family of the Green County General Hospital. Our team caring for yours, and also to the Living Room Center, free delivery to Linton and beyond. They have locations in Bedford and Bloomington. They're open Monday and Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but closed on Wednesdays and Sunday. Well, thank you again. We got some good games coming up. I'll definitely be at Linton against North Davies. That'll be Friday night. I think they'll be uh, Eastern Green at Shackamack Girls on Thursday. Well, thank you again. Have a great night, Green County, and thanks for staying up. I'm Nathan Pace. Have a great night.